Imagine this. Earth, our beautiful blue planet, has existed for about 4.5 billion years. Through endless ages, it has seen continents drift, oceans form, and mountains rise and crumble. If we were just the nth intelligent civilization to rise up on planet Earth, or even the nth civilization of humans. But when you compare that massive timeline to us, humans are barely a heartbeat. The earliest human ancestors appeared only about 7 million years ago, and modern humans, just 300,000 years. Space can exist without a time. If Earth's history were a single day, our entire story would fit in the last seconds before midnight. So what happened before us? Was Earth just a quiet, empty rock? Or did someone else live here long before we arrived? In 2018, two scientists, astrophysicist Adam Frank and climate expert Gavin Schmidt, challenged everything we think we know. They proposed a theory that would make both scientists and science fiction fans pause. What if there was another intelligent civilization on Earth long before humans evolved? A civilization that might have built cities, used technology, and eventually vanished, leaving no trace behind. They called it the Silurian Hypothesis. It's not about aliens, it's about us, or rather, who might have come before us. The name Silurian comes from the Silurian period, a slice of time roughly 443 to 419 million years ago, when life thrived mostly in the oceans. It's also a cheeky reference to the Doctor Who series, where reptilian beings called Silurians once ruled Earth before humans. Frank and Schmidt weren't claiming those creatures existed, but they borrowed the name to ask a daring question. If there had been an ancient industrial civilization before humans, could we even detect it now? See, in science, I have a response to the narratives of science, the stories science tells, the universe the science reveals. The answer, they said, might be no. Because Earth, unlike Mars or the Moon, is constantly destroying its own history. The ground beneath our feet moves, oceans open and close, volcanoes erupt and bury everything in ash. Mountains rise, crumble and erode. Over millions of years, the planet recycles itself. The oldest oceanic crust on Earth is only about 200 million years old. Anything older has been swallowed by the Earth's mantle. Every ancient coastline, every mountain range, every city that might have existed is gone. If humanity were wiped out today, all visible signs of our civilization would vanish shockingly fast. Within a few thousand years, our buildings would crumble into dust. Metal would rust away. Plastics would break down. Even nuclear waste would lose its deadly signature. Give it a few million years and Earth would erase almost every trace that we were ever here. It's humbling and terrifying to realize how temporary we truly are. That's the core of the Silurian hypothesis. If a species had built an advanced society tens of millions of years ago, plate tectonics, erosion and fossilization would have wiped out its artifacts. No skyscrapers, no machines, no bones. But maybe not everything would disappear. Frank and Schmidt argued that while physical evidence fades, chemical evidence might endure. They suggested we look not for ruins, but for fingerprints in the planet's rocks. How? By studying ancient sediment chemistry. Industrial activity leaves distinct marks, unusual ratios of certain elements or isotopes. For example, burning fossil fuels increases carbon-12 versus carbon-13. If an ancient civilization used coal or oil, that imbalance might still be trapped in rock layers. Similarly, heavy use of fertilizers changes nitrogen isotope ratios. Even nuclear technology could leave traces. Long-lived radioactive isotopes like plutonium-244 or iodine-129 that don't occur naturally in large amounts. These tiny chemical scars could be the whispers of a civilization long forgotten. But there's a problem. Nature itself can produce similar effects. Massive volcanic eruptions, asteroid impacts, or even methane released from the ocean floor can mimic industrial signatures. The Earth's past is full of chaos and change, making it nearly impossible to tell whether a chemical anomaly came from nature or from an ancient species burning fuel and building machines. A perfect example is the Permian-Triassic extinction event about 250 million years ago. 
the deadliest event in Earth's history. Gigantic volcanic eruptions pumped carbon dioxide into the air, causing global warming, acid rain, and mass extinction. If a future civilization studied that time, they might easily mistake it for the aftermath of a massive industrial disaster. Frank and Schmidt used this logic to highlight how fragile evidence can be. Even if an ancient civilization had existed, we might already have misread its traces as natural. Yet one event still stands out as a mystery. The Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, or PETM. It happened about 56 million years ago, long before humans, when the planet suddenly heated up. Global temperatures rose to 8 degrees Celsius. Polar ice melted. Carbon flooded the atmosphere. The Earth transformed into a greenhouse. It took over 200,000 years for the planet to cool again. Scientists know something huge caused it. But what? Volcanic activity? Methane gas? Or could it have been something else entirely? Frank and Schmidt wondered, what if that carbon spike wasn't natural? What if it was caused by an industrial civilization that came before us? One that burned fossil fuels until its world collapsed. It's an unsettling idea, but most geologists argue against it. The Silurian Hypothesis, which asks whether pre-human industrial civilizations might have existed. The PETM's carbon release happened far too slowly compared to modern human emissions. Today's industrial activity is heating the planet hundreds of times faster. If there were an earlier civilization, its impact would have been much sharper, like ours. Still, the thought lingers. Could we be repeating someone else's mistake? But what if intelligence on Earth didn't look like us at all? For centuries, dinosaurs were painted as dumb brutes, creatures of instinct rather than thought. Yet newer research has rewritten that story. Paleontologist Diego Pol studied the Myasara, a plant-eating dinosaur known for nurturing its young and returning to the same nesting sites every year. These dinosaurs showed memory, cooperation, and complex social behavior, traits that form the foundation of civilization. And then there's the Trudon, a small, agile predator with a surprisingly large brain for its size, excellent vision, and grasping hands. It was smarter than most of its peers, so intelligent, in fact, that some scientists believe it could have evolved into something far more advanced had it not been wiped out by an asteroid 66 million years ago. One paleontologist, Dale Russell, even proposed a theoretical evolution called the Dinosauroid. He imagined a future Trudon descendant, upright, tool-using, with a large head and human-like intelligence, a reptilian thinker capable of building, creating, and perhaps even destroying. It was pure speculation, but it raised an important question. Could evolution have produced another civilization before us, one lost to time? If dinosaurs aren't convincing, consider something stranger. In the early 2000s, Japanese biologist Toshiyuki Nakagaki conducted a simple experiment. He placed a slime mold in a maze with food on the opposite side. Within hours, the mold grew through the maze, finding the shortest path to the food. No brain, no nerves, yet it learned. It adapted, it was memorable. Scientists now know that fungi and slime molds communicate through chemical and electrical signals, forming vast intelligent networks beneath forests. Could an ancient planet-wide biological network have once existed? An intelligence that didn't need machines or cities, but pulsed through the soil itself? If so, it would leave no ruins, no fossils, only patterns too subtle for us to recognize. And there's the architecture issue. Across the world, massive pyramids rise from the ground. Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza, Mexico's Pyramid of Cholula, and the Temple of Chichen Itza, built thousands of years apart by different cultures separated by oceans, yet all share strikingly similar forms and alignments with the stars. Is it a coincidence, shared human intuition, or echoes of a knowledge passed down from a much older source that predates humanity entirely? The Silurian hypothesis doesn't claim any of these ideas are true. It simply asks whether we've even been looking in the right place. Maybe evidence of past civilizations isn't buried under cities or oceans, but encoded in the rocks, the atmosphere, or even in the DNA of life itself. Maybe Earth has lived this story before, civilization rising, flourishing, and falling into silence. If so, what does that say about us? Are we the first to reach this point, or just another fleeting experiment in an endless cycle? 
A species doomed to burn brightly, leave a scar of carbon in the rocks, and fade into geological memory. Perhaps one day, millions of years from now, another civilization will rise. They'll study the layers of the Earth and find strange anomalies, spikes of carbon, traces of plastics, and hints of radiation. They'll wonder who we were. They'll argue and theorize. And maybe they'll invent their own version of the Silurian Hypothesis. Because in Earth's great history, civilizations may not be rare. They may simply be temporary. And so the question remains. Were we truly the first intelligent beings to call this planet home? Or are we just the latest whisper in a history far older than we dare to imagine?